However, one local woman is going to great lengths to make sure they do. Our Melissa Reed is live tonight to explain all of this. Hi, Mel Melissa. Hi there, Tracy. Yeah, great lengths is the perfect way to describe this story. That's because this is the work of a local hairdresser who makes people feel beautiful every day at work. Well, she decided that she wanted to give that same opportunity to girls in need. I know there's a lot of girls in Cleveland that can't afford dresses and I wanted to be able to give back some kind of way. For Cleveland hairdresser Chaz Justice, it all started with a dress and a dream. Justice, also known as the hair groupie, started asking clients for prom dress donations. Before she knew it, she had over a hundred dresses and decided to organize a give back event. This is gonna feel like walking into a store where a dress costs hundreds of dollars and you're walking out of it with for free. The only requirement? Be in high school and be in need. Oh, and show up Tuesday, May 7th at the 5th Street Arcade on Euclid Avenue in Cleveland from 5 to 8 and try it on. Free hair services, nail services, makeup services. It's just going to be a really big pep rally and just fun. You're not going to feel like you're less fortunate. You're going to feel like you're more than that day. For single mother Antoinette Parker, it is a dream come true that her daughter Brianna will have a dress. And not to be able to really afford what I want because I've always worked. is really hard and to ask for other people to help me is really hard. Brianna is a senior and will attend her very first prom next Saturday. What color? Hmm? Red. Red. But for Justice, it's more than just giving a dress to these girls in need. It's about giving an opportunity for those girls to feel beautiful inside and out. Brianna will be able to go to prom and enjoy yourself just like everybody else will. And I'm, I'm very appreciative for all the help that we are able to get. And a lot of people, they don't get to feel what others feel. So walking away with a beautiful gown that we have, is just, I hope it just makes her day. Now, if you would like to donate a prom dress, Chaz is accepting prom dress donations at Dylan's Barbershop, which is right down the street on West 9th. She will accept prom dresses until Tuesday at 5 o'clock. That's when this prom dress is. They're going to go right behind me at the arcade. Euclid, the entrance there right here, the Euclid, and that's when the event will be from 5 to 8 o'clock. Bill and Tracy, all you got to do is these girls that are in need just got to show up and pick out a prom dress. All right, tell Miss Antoinette, I'm coming over. I want no shoulders showing. I, I want no daughters going to leave the house. I want car, and then she better be home on time or there's going to be big trouble. <laughs> she's got to keep it classy. That's right. Absolutely. But she's got lots to choose from. Lots to choose from. <laughs> look beautiful. All right, Melissa, thank you. Well, she had been declared legally dead. After 11 years later, a missing woman is found alive. Coming up, how the mystery of her disappearance is finally solved. Plus, how long will our streak of sunny days last? Andre is standing by with the extended...